Model view is a term used to describe any of the standard views available in a 3D part such as front, right, top, and isometric. Let's begin a new drawing. I'll click the new file icon. Then I'll specify a drawing template and select a sheet format. There are two ways of creating model views, either by activating the model view command or by using the view palette. Let's begin by going over the first option. You can select the model view command from either the insert drop down menu under drawing view model or by using the model view icon on the drawing toolbar. Now as I move my pointer into the working area you can see there is a block next to my cursor. This block indicates that you are in the process of creating a view and that you must now tell SOLIDWORKS what part or assembly you intend to show in that view. Although we are working on a model view in this example, this block will show up whenever it's necessary for you to identify which 3D model you are referring to. Here in the property manager, you will see a couple of different ways to identify the 3D model that will be associated with this drawing. You can either select from a list of models which are currently open, or browse for other existing models. Once I select it, I'll click the next button. The property manager now displays a message telling me how to proceed with this model view. I'll begin by adding a single view and specifying the view orientation that I want to have displayed for this view, front in this case. Before I click on the sheet to place the view, I'll be sure to have the auto start projected view option activated and then click somewhere on the drawing sheet to locate the view. Since I had the auto start projected view box activated, the feature manager automatically switches to projected view mode. When you move the cursor away from the view you have just created, SOLIDWORKS automatically projects the top, right side, and isometric views for you. Before we proceed, let me show you another way how you can have SOLIDWORKS create these views for you automatically. I'll click undo to get rid of these views. And to begin inserting views again, I'll go to insert, drawing view, model, to get back into model view property manager. And then I'll use the same part I did a moment ago, but this time instead of using the single view with the auto start projected views option, this time I'm going to select multiple views. Now with this option I can simply click on the icons that represent the standard views that I want to have shown. I'll click on the icons for front, top, right, and isometric. And when I click OK, all of the views will be added. The front view is the main parent view for all other views. Now if the parent view you created is not the orientation you had desired, you can click on the view. And then click on one of the other view icons to use that orientation for the view instead. As soon as I do, SOLIDWORKS prompts me that this will update all of the other dependent views that are projected off this main parent view. When I click yes, all the other views will be updated. Also to move any of these views, you can click and drag a view by clicking anywhere on its border or on any model edge or vertex. You can also move views and other items in drawing using the arrow keys on your keyboard. Just select a view and press the arrow keys to move it. As I mentioned earlier, there is actually another way to insert drawing views besides the model view command we just went over, the view palette. Let me delete these views and we'll begin again with a clean sheet. To activate the view palette, click on the view palette icon found on the task pane. As with the model view command, I can select from a list of open parts or I can browse for a specific part. I'll go ahead and select the part from the list. Next I'll simply drag and drop a view from the view palette into our drawing. Once the drawing view is placed, the projected view command is automatically launched, allowing you to create the remaining views. 
Although the view palette does allow you to preview all possible orthographic views of a part or assembly, it's not possible to control select multiple views in the view palette and drag them together onto the drawing. It's only possible to drag a single view and then use the projected view command to add the additional views.